guys, so I'm doing a highly requested how to shop at Victoria's Secret Pink for plus size girls. Um, it's been forever that I've been wanting to do this video and every time I mention it everyone's like, yeah, when are you going to do that, please? And I'm like, I promise that my next video for sure will be this video. Um, it's just, I need to slow down a little bit. Um, the daughter has gone to kindergarten, so I have a little bit more time. Um, I still have a shit ton to clean around the house, but um, that can wait, right? <laughs> um, so, okay. oh, I don't like it behind my ears like that. It looked like the guy from Wayne's World. Okay, anyway. So, let's get started. Um, Victoria's Secret Pink is supposed to be like the young, hip side of Victoria's Secret. So, of course, they only go up to a size large, um, which kind of sucks. Um, if you shop at Victoria's Secret at all, they actually go up to a size extra large when it comes to their clothing, um, workout clothes, um, some stuff that they have the same as pink would be like their yoga pants. They actually carry yoga pants at Victoria's Secret in a size extra large. Um, and I'm mentioning these first because they're actually one of my like favorite items from Victoria's Secret Pink. Uh, for a couple reasons. I have one here, and mind me, this is an old one because, of course, they're all dirty. Um, but I didn't want to delay this video anymore. So I got one of my older ones, which I still have, and, I mean, they're great quality. They Honestly, they are a great quality. I've had these for five years. Um, but these are the cropped... I'm sorry, my lighting is going a little crazy. Um, these are the cropped um, yoga pants. And they just, you know, most of them will have, like, a cute print at the top, and it, it'll say, like, love pink. So, personally, it I don't really care what it says on it, just because the way that I wear them doesn't really um, matter. But the way I wear these yoga pants, and these are all in a size large, of course, I go the largest that I can, um... The way that I wear these is that I use this as extra material to elongate. And I would say that if you have a butt, you can pull this off. Just one, they're a stretchy material. Two, I don't have a butt, so anything pretty much slides off. And it just pretty much sucks. But I think that if the way that I carry my weight personally... I have like a bigger midsection here in the front and then in the back I have like absolutely nothing. And so I like to I like shirts to come down this way and cover this part of my body here. So when I wear these type of yoga pants doesn't really matter. But I do like them because I think they make amazing leggings and mind you Victoria's Secret Pink carries like leggings. They're usually the ones that are on sale for super cheap, but I don't like them at all because they're like a very thin material and that's why they're on the cheaper side. I usually wear these and I pull them all the way up and they'll fit me around here. So I actually love like this extra material to go around my, my, my like belly area. So it kind of like tucks me in a little bit and it like, it won't like, it's not like Spanx or anything so it's still comfy and stuff. And it'll kind of smooth you out, which is something that I really like. Um, I wouldn't recommend anything with the sequence on it. Um, these I usually I use for workout anyway because they're the short, like, cropped one, like Capri ones. But um, if you're going to, uh, I know you say, like, well, isn't this the whole point of wearing these, like, Victoria's Secret Pink, like, yoga pants that, you know, that you can see like the sequin like the print and stuff. And again, they will go around your waist. They it's just a matter of like a personal preference. Um and the good the good thing is that if you like squeeze yourself into these, I'm a size 18 20 by the way. If you squeeze and I have pretty big thighs and legs, so the material is so thick that it can stretch out and it's not gonna be sheer in any way. But if you are fine with, you know, how, you know, 
showing this off, more power to you. I just, it's just a personal preference of mine. And they will stay on and, you know, you will be, if you just leave them like this and fold them over. I mean, they'll look, they'll look cute. They'll look cute. So the point is that if you haven't tried them before, give them a try because they actually have more give and more stretch than you actually think they have. And then for me personally, the newer like um, yoga like pants, and of course I wear the skinny ones because I like how they look with just like sandals and boots. It's easier to tuck in. Um, they'll have like the little like pink dog like this stitched on to the bottom. So you still get that Victoria's Secret pink like brand kind of thing if that's, you know, something that's important. Um, but yeah, these are like... Honestly, my everyday go-to thing. I have like a million pairs. It's and yes, they're all dirty, so you <laughs> imagine. And I have a lot of laundry to do. Um, but yeah, so that is one thing. Um, another thing that I wanted to talk about was I know this isn't pink, but it is Victoria's Secret. Um, these are Victoria's Secret uh, workout pants. Most of their like workout pants like these only go up to a size large. But again, they were very thick material. These were, they're, I think they retail for like 60 bucks. But um, they're very nice, thick material. A lot of the problems I have sometimes when I want to wear like these, like, I don't know what I, what you would call this, like, workout type of material. But is that I, they, like, roll down on me. Like, they just don't stay up. And, um, you know, that I attribute that to, like, okay, that pant is too small for you. But... With these here, they have so much material and stuff, and then the way that it belts around your waist um, makes it so it doesn't slip out. It actually has, like, this little band in here, which is really awesome. And these are a newer one that I have. I bought another pair, but... And, then of course, you get the cool, like, cute little prints that Victoria's Secret has, but these are in a large, and they work out just fine. Again, keep in mind, I'm sure you've seen my videos where I, like, try on clothes so you can see, like, my body type is... Um, I guess um, I'm an apple shape, I don't know, anything great, round, watermelon shape, um, that's my shape. I don't have like, I'm definitely not like a pear shape, um, I don't have a butt so I'm pretty flat. So when it comes to like pants, I know um, for some girls it's harder like to put it up around the way, to put it up around the hips and the butt, I don't have that problem so um, just keep that in mind when I'm like talking about the pants and stuff. Um, another thing that is very popular at Victoria's Secret Pink is wearing, like, their sweatpants and stuff. These I've had for years. Um, I've actually had them for, like, five years, and, um, they still look pretty good. I mean, uh, they don't look as new as something that I just bought, like, you know, a couple weeks ago, but they're still really good, especially for five years. And, um, this one I actually own in, like, two colors, pink and these gray this gray, like, mixed with white is actually my favorite. Um, but let me just stand up so I can show you. But as you can see here, there's a lot of room for the butt. Definitely a lot of room for the butt. Shake that for you guys. Just kidding. <laughs> but, um, comes with pockets. This here, I'm showing you guys my stretch marks, just so you know how much I love you. Um, and then this top here is also from Victoria's Secret Pink. Um... This is the large, and so you can tell there's a little bit of room in there. There's still that really nice length. Well, this is one of the tricks that I find with their tops is this top here is on the thinner side. And one of my rules at Victoria's Secret Pink is the thicker the shirt and it's better just because you'll you'll get a little bit more stretch out of it versus something that's already like this sheer but the exception with this shirt was that it already came long and if you look at a lot of the pictures they'll have pictures up too on display like it'll tell you like boyfriend fit or uh v-neck or whatever and they'll show you an actual picture of the girls wearing it and that is one of the like indications of how i shop there is if i see that this shirt fits one of the models all the way to her knees, then I know that when I put it on, it's going to come to at least here and still give me that length that I like. Yeah, it's not going to fit me like a nightgown all the way down to my knees with leggings and be all cute, 
But I still, still, it'll still cover my butt. It'll still cover my front section, which is what I'm more like con self conscious about. You can say, and um, and I still get to wear this really cute shirt. It says um, like Pink Nation at the top. It's actually like um, if you're part of the app, which is another thing I would recommend for you to join is like the Pink Nation thing. They're always giving out like free undies, like um, cheaper like yoga pants, or like they'll have a special sale for that, and you just have to show them on your phone or whatnot. But yeah, so that is one way that I buy, like, these type of shirts in there. Um, another type of shirt that I really love from there is, like, they're, like, tanks. Um, this here is this tank and also in a size large. Um, if you can tell, like, I'm holding up this shirt and it already looks pretty large. It didn't come this way when I bought it. Um, I almost... And, and you can tell the material the di material difference between this and this. This is like extra sheer. Um, this one's not one of their thicker ones, but it's from their summer collection kind of thing. So, I it's important to feel the material when you buy them. If a material is very sheer and looks kind of cheap, then it's not something that's going to stretch. If it does stretch, you'll end up ruining the shirt because most of them have like the have like this kind of stuff on it where it's not that stretchy and um, you're going to stretch it out or crack it or whatnot. so I mean there's no point to it so you just got to watch out for those shirts that you can say hey this has some extra stretch in it and that's what I was able to do with this shirt it just says pink in the back and the length is right about here on me and I and of course one thing that I hate is like my little like right here I have like this little like pouch of back fat so I always wear like a white little tank on under it and and it looks cool I, I like how it looks and then this I would just wear with like some of my yoga pants cover my butt um, nice like everyday easy kind of thing um, in my family, we have this joke, like, <laughs> that I started with my mom and my sister. Um, we call it, like, oh, you're going to do sporty today? Okay, yes, yeah, sporty looks good. When we don't want to get ready or put makeup on, we'll put a, we'll put on a hat. And this is also from Victoria's Secret. We'll put on a hat, put our hair in a ponytail or something, or um, and wear, like, our yoga pants or, like, say, a pink, like, two-piece like this. It comes with a, with a sweater. And we'll be like, oh, we're sporty today, you know, like... Um, and we don't actually go to the gym. That's the sad part about it. But, you know, people ain't got to know that, right? So, um, this is another tank that I've actually had for, like, five plus years. This was before Chloe came around. And, like, I think it just um, comments to the fact that they have really nice material on their clothes. And this shirt here, I just wanted to show you guys to prove, like, it, it was it's like a pretty trendy shirt. You know, it has, like, a skull on there. You don't always have to go for, like, the plain kind of, like, ugh, kind of things. Um, so, it's still possible to get that cute kind of stuff. And um, this one stretched just fine, if you guys can tell. Um, it has a really nice stretch to it. Um, and I'm noticing on this shirt, it's actually pretty sure, I mean, uh, you can tell on here. I mean, I wouldn't go out like this. I always wear, uh, like, a top tank underneath, so... But still, for the sheerness that it is, it still has a lot of material on it. Um, and this was one of their like cheaper like freebie shirts, so it's not like they put too much effort into it or anything. But this is another tank. I layer it. I wear it with, you know, the two-piece or the yoga pants. Um, moving on to a top, this tank here um, is actually a little bit more on the shorter side, and I definitely have to wear uh, like a little cami underneath of it. Um, this I got for the 4th of July, and I absolutely love this top because even though it's not long, it has a rounded bottom. And I don't know if you've noticed that Torrid, a lot of the shirts have a rounded bottom. A lot of their t-shirts, a lot of like their just like blouses and stuff will have a rounded bottom just because it, it like, I, I personally think it like helps like hide like, you know, like the front stomach area if that's one of your problem areas. So... I'm sure that's not what they were trying to do here at Victoria's Secret, but it works just the same where it kind of just like gives you that coverage you need and it like comes under like this. 
So that's why I really like these type of tanks there. And again, this is the, these have a really nice stretch as well. I will insert a picture um, of when I wore this for the 4th of July this year. And yeah, it's just really cute. And it's from their like summer collection. And you do want to wear a top, a, a cami underneath it or a badeau, a badeau, badeau, boudou, whatever it's called underneath of it. Just because um, it is a little longer here, which... Again, also gives you a little bit of more room. Um, I think on the model, this one actually looked long as well. So it didn't come all the way down to her knees or, you know, probably like mid-thigh. But again, that'll give you an indication, okay, if it goes on to her, onto her mid-thigh, then, you know, to me it'll be like, you know, up here. And of course she's not wearing a large. She probably has an extra small on, but just it'll give you an indication of how the length works. Another thing that I like to do is... Victoria's Secret Pink has like their pajama section or their sleep section and they'll have like night shirts. This here is a night shirt and I don't wear it as a night shirt. Sometimes, you know, sometimes I can or will. Um, but then that means all my ass is going to be hanging out. But I just loved this shirt. It says I need coffee. Um, but this top here is actually a night shirt. And I love that it's super long. Because then I can wear it like to about here and like wear it with my, again, my two-piece and uh, that's what I'm going to call it, my my little like Victoria's Secret sweatsuit or my yoga pants. And honestly, if, if you look at this shirt and this shirt, there's honestly no difference or indication that says, oh, hey, you're wearing a nightgown to go out versus a regular shirt because they look the same. And actually the material on this is really nice. It's a little softer because I guess it's to go to sleep, but you still get that thickness and stuff so that's also one of my tricks of shopping there um this is and and you know what and this isn't a medium that was another thing I was going to tell you that this shirt isn't a medium and if I and, and I like how it fit I like the length I like um how it looks on me it's not too tight um so there is a little bit of wiggle room on their stuff there so if you're bigger than like an 1820 uh, try one of their night shirts like this. They're adorable. They still have like a really cute print and you can buy the large and it'll even give you a little more room. So definitely worth a try. That's another one of my tricks. Um, I recently went and bought, um, I don't know if you guys know that Pink has like their NFL collection and this is from last year. I've already said it, but I just love this hat. Um, they haven't come out with one since and I'm like, so excited about that it looks super cute with this and um, I'll show you guys in a minute one that I bought like three years ago but this one here is on the more thicker material it's not like sheer at all uh, maybe the side part is but not this one here of course it's black but this one is on the more thicker side this is all sequence here um, but and again this is supposed to uh, is meant to go like above your knee um, it doesn't go above the knee for me. It covers my butt in my front section there, and that's all it does, which is perfectly fine. Um, there's a lot of room on the, like, the arm room. Um, I have really big, like, luchadora arms. If you don't know what that means, that means wrestler arms. That's another thing that we say in my family. I have these, like, huge wrestler strong arms. But, um, this... These are made with a lot of extra room on the arm section, so they're really great. They're just supposed to be like those like slouchy looking like sweater kind of shirts. And of course it doesn't look that way to me, but it gives me that just enough room that I need. And again, Wayne's World. Um, that I need for it to look cute on me. Um, I'm planning this to wear this to a football game, so uh, I'll probably wear like some skinny jeans or some jeggings. Or some like my Victoria's Secret pants, it just depending on the weather, with some boots, my hat, and I'm ready to go. Um, I'll probably put a cami underneath it, but it gets it gets her done, and I still can wear this like the really cute blingy like NFL stuff. And every um, state has a different one. You can buy it online as well, but I absolutely love it. This is the one that I have from. This is the one that I have from uh, three years ago, I believe, and I absolutely love it. It's like a full-on sweater. Again, this is a large, and it's supposed to be on that longer side, and it doesn't fit me that way. Um, so I always wear like a 
a longer like see-through like sheer type of button up with the orange hanging out I'm sure if you follow me on Instagram if you go to like my past pictures you'll see me wearing this sweater because I absolutely love it um, but but yeah I, again it's a testament to how well their clothes hold up it, it has the bigger arms um, just because I guess it's supposed to fit like slouchy there or whatever um, I want to show you guys a couple other shirts. This was like a, a shirt that they were selling for five bucks for being a uh, Pink Nation like member. As you can see, this shirt is super sheer. Um, this was another one of their like cheap or freebie kind of shirts. So they definitely don't put the same material in this as the shirts that you buy. I'm um, usually the blinger ones are like the thirty something dollar shirts, but um. This is a large here, and that's not the one that was free. This is the one that was free, and this is a large. But, um, again, I bought it, I think it was like 5 bucks because I was in Peak Nation. It has that rounded bottom, which I love, and it still gives you a little bit of coverage there, like I said before. And you can wear a cami underneath and stretch as much as you want. Um, they're cool for the gym and stuff like that, or to wear with their, like, your two-piece, um, kind of Victoria's sweatpants things. And then this top here um, is one of their tops that has a little more give to it. Um, sometimes they'll have things labeled like boyfriend fit or and, and that's mostly when it comes to like pants or like bigger sweaters. Um, I guess your boyfriend is supposed to be bigger than that. That's kind of bullshit, whatever. Um, but that's the premise behind it that there's they're bigger there's a little more room like same thing with boyfriend pants they're loose on you and they're kind of a little bit baggy um so whenever I see things like that I always want to try them on because I know they're going to have a little extra room so a large might even fit like an extra large and that works out better um but that's what this shirt was um it's a little on the shorter side than what I like and it's just like straight across versus that like little round oval shape thing that I like but I really like the bling on this shirt. It almost looks like a baseball tee or something, and I love the gray things here. And it has more room for your arms and stuff, too. So this one I'll definitely have to wear a cami with underneath, but that's okay. I really like this top, and I'll probably wear, like, a cami, my yoga pants, or, you know, just pair it with, like, a, with a foot pants suit or whatever. Um... This is one of the newer pant, pant, uh, sweatpants suits that I've purchased. Um, this one actually like goes over like this, so it's definitely more fall winterish because it has like that thicker material. I'm trying to see if these say anything as far as mm, no, they don't. But this is the top to it. Um, this top is not going to be that long or more forgiving, like bigger. Um, just because it's more of a fitted like sweater type of thing, but that's okay because these are amazing Have amazing stretch even better than the shirts just because the material is so thick and They still look really cute um, I'll probably wear like a black cami under these uh, under this and um, So this will come to about here which usually I like to come to around here um, We'll come to about here, and then I'll wear my cami with it and then the pants, like I said, I never have a problem with them. Again, just because I don't have a butt. But the stretch on them is amazing. Um, you can wear them this way so you can show me like that little pink thing. It doesn't matter because I don't show my waist. But still, um, I like that band that it has around there. And um, these say pink on there. These are a little. These are capped at the bottom, which are really cool because it gives it like that, um, like that skinny type of look to it so I can wear with like my flip flops and yes I'll wear flip flops through the fall just because I'm a Cali girl and I will wear flip flops so there's snow on the ground and I can literally not feel my toes um but that's actually one of my more favorite um bottoms on these like two piece sweatpants is that they have and let me cover up my tummy again um is that they have like the skinny at the bottom I just I like I just personally like that look um, these here that are like, you can see the bottom of my foot, um, kind of like bell bottom, I feel like are actually even bigger than say something like this. The skinny ones that are skinny at the bottom 
in my experience, have been more fitted to my body, a little tighter. Whereas the ones that are bell bottom are definitely have more room, are more loose. So that is another trick or indication of what will run bigger than the other thing. So if you have like a booty and some thighs, just know I'm jealous of you. Alright, so uh, one more thing that I wanted to show you guys was a sweater with a zipper compared to the sweater that was just a pullover. Um, this one here, I feel the sweater with the zippers will definitely have a little bit more room. Again, watch out for the signs that say like boyfriend fit type of thing where they are a little bigger and the length. Um, when they're a little longer, um, this is supposed to go like um, mid-thigh, so they fit me just perfectly right here. Um, it, it gives you that extra room that you need. And of course you can leave it open and just wear a cami underneath, so if it doesn't zip, it's alright. Because you can just wear like a pink shirt underneath of it and stuff and it'll still look super adorable. So that's also, if I ever like a sweater that runs really small, I mean, I can't zip up, that will be one of the things that I will do. Um, versus this. And this will stay up and stuff. Th this can, I can zip up and stuff, so it works out pretty great. Sorry, there was a little bit of cheese my going on in the front of my, my neighbor's house. Um, but yeah, definitely um, zip up sweaters are your friends. If you have any questions on anything um let me know if you have any questions about how you know any questions about like an item and i can tell you like oh yeah girl or no i don't know about that um or anything in particular just let me know um i used to wear their underwears there but they only go up to a size large and they would always be rolling under and i like to pull my chonies all the way up here like granny style so i always do the underwear at lane bryant um like the higher waisted ones just because again I like to have this get it right and get it tight um, but yeah so um, I always get like coupons and stuff for like free panties with purchase and I always take advantage of it because you know what my sister will wear them these were like free with a purchase and since I'm still wearing the clothes I know how that I'm gonna let them keep free panties when I can bring them home and yeah my sister's like a medium at this store I ain't gonna hate cuz Almost everything I, that she fits in there, I can get away with in a large as well. So it's not a big deal. Um, there is something for you at Victoria's Secret Pink. Like, and that that's the same thing that goes with a lot of places. Um, even if it's like a straight size store, you can always find something like cute that will fit you and stuff. Um, again, I hope these tips on how I shop at Victoria's Secret Pink pink not prank pink um i helped you guys and leave any questions below or anything if you want to know anything else or anything more um oh i was gonna say yeah the bras don't fit me for shit there i think they go up to a size 36 like waist even with a uh, bra extender they won't fit um which is another trick that i do for like Victoria's Secret bras sometimes because they only go up to a 40. Usually I'm okay with a 40, but it depends. Sometimes they run a little small and I need a 42. And bra extenders to the rescue. But yeah, um, I love you guys. Thank you for watching. Um, I will have a huge, huge haul coming up pretty soon. Um, I haven't done a haul in like a month and a half or something. So I've been like kind of like trying not to wear the things, add it up on there. But I knew that this video was going to come first because you guys have requested it so many times. But uh, yeah, thank you so much, um, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye! Just kidding. Alright, I'm leaving.